Hello and welcome back to NHB Retro. Uh, today I have a um, Apple II power supply here that I need for a project and uh, it does not work. Um, let's just verify that real quick. I'm going to plug it in. Uh, turn it on here. And let's see. Okay, so I believe these are the grounds over here. And there should be five or 12 or something. Pretty much nothing, 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 <laughs> nothing. Let's just go. Yeah, so it is completely dead. Uh, Let's turn that off. Um, yeah, we're just going to take it apart. I'm actually just kind of going into this blind. I've never actually repaired an, uh, an Apple II power supply, I've repaired Franklin power supplies, etc. But um, we're just going to go in here and I'm thinking probably the most likely problem is that the um, is that the Rifa cap has exploded. So let's just take it apart and uh, see if we can uh, fix that. Connect the power first. Uh, obviously, the usual um, cautions about opening power supplies, very dangerous voltages, etc. Don't don't do that unless you you feel confident with it. You have to actually take out all the screws, apparently. Yeah, that does it. All right. Uh, I'll move you around for a better view here of the power supply. All right, here's the internals of the power supply. Um, you can see hidden over here the usual... 0.1 microfarad um, uh, refit capacitor down there. It doesn't actually look like it's blown, but it's kind of tight in there. I can't really see. So I'm going to get this board out. I'm going to obviously look at all of these capacitors. None of them really seem bulgy or anything. Some of them seem maybe a little bit loose. But yeah, hopefully it's just this refit capacitor. Uh, we'll get that replaced and uh, go from there. Because I'm just coming out here. All right, uh, power supplies out of the case. Um, let's see if we can get a, a view of that Rifa capacitor, the filtering cap. Um, it's all cracked and etc. It doesn't look like it exploded necessarily. So I'm just going to buzz that off there and uh, get a new one on and we'll see what happens.
and just like that uh, it is out and again it's um, it does not look exploded for sure it is pretty cracked um, anyway in, in any case good to replace that um, we've got a, a much more modern version here we'll just get this in here These are not uh, polarized, so it doesn't matter how it goes in. All right, and that should be that. All right, power supply is all back together. I have mains connected. Um, again, this is a very dangerous um, thing to be doing if you don't, if you're not going to be respectful of the voltages and currents that are inside there. Um, this could be a very dangerous situation. Anyway. Uh, I've got the voltmeter on. Let's check the voltages again. Uh, let's see here. So this should be uh, 12. I mean, 5. <laughs> okay. You know what, I think I have this backwards. Oh. Okay, minus 12, five. Minus five, plus 12. All right, uh, successfully resurrected. That was very, very easy. And even though this Rifa cap um, didn't appear to be exploded, it was obviously the point of failure. So I'm gonna just uh, get the top back on and yeah, this power supply uh, is ready to go. And uh, that'll do it for this one. Um, very quick, easy repair to a very common problem um, with, with these power supplies. Um, hope you enjoyed, hope it was useful to you. Um, and yeah, I'll see you on the next one.